In previous videos, we have talked about how Elon Musk recommends you to delete your Facebook and use other alternatives instead. And why? Because he thinks that there are many issues with the privacy policy. Now, we will continue this topic and talk about the stunning opinion of Jeff Bezos, who said that if you have a mobile phone, maybe someone is listening to you. In the modern age of technology, the virtual landscape of communication has changed immensely. The vast majority of Americans, about 97%, own a cell phone and 85% of those cell phone users are using smartphones. As the technology behind these cellular devices continues to evolve, their capabilities continue to grow in advance as well. As consumers, it is increasingly important to know what privacy issues we may begin to face. With the rise of smartphone usage, we've also seen a rise in curiosity over how companies and vendors utilize data collected from our cell phones. When browsing the internet, we are often asked to accept or deny cookies, which are strings of text data that connect our phones or computers to the wider web. These bits of data can be utilized to provide targeted ads based on our internet search history. As smartphones and artificial intelligence technology continues to evolve, many tech gurus and industry leaders have come out warning consumers to rethink the privacy settings on their phones. One such individual is former Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. The Amazon founder has often fielded privacy questions, particularly in relation to the Amazon Alexa technology and most notably the Echo Bluetooth speaker. The Echo is one in a series of Amazon speakers that incorporates voice-activated technology. Much like Apple's Siri, Alexa is Amazon's artificial intelligence assistant. It is geared towards elevating consumer experiences by providing services such as radio, weather information, and internet searching, amongst other things. According to Bezos, the accessibility of the speakers, the fact that they are always in place, don't need to be charged or removed from pockets, creates less friction between the consumer and the task that needs to be done. And while the technology of such AI assistants is impressive, their usage has also raised concerns about consumer privacy. Over the past few years, more research and information has come to light about the listening capabilities of both Amazon speakers as well as our cell phones. At a Vanity Fair summit, Jeff Bezos brought up the issue of privacy as it relates to both the Amazon Echo and the common smartphone. He posited that because smartphones have internal microphones that are controlled by software technology, it would be totally plausible for internet hackers or government entities to put computer viruses onto our cell phones. These viruses could allow them to listen in on anything and everything we are doing, Jeff said. Mobile phone in your pocket, it has microphones on it, and those microphones are under software control and any nation state in the world can put a computer virus on your phone anytime they want and listen to everything you say from your cell phone. He also stated that what makes the Amazon Echo different is that when users turn off the listening capabilities, they are doing so via the analog technology engineered into the speaker. This means that the Echo is virtually unhackable unless someone were to come tamper with it in person. Obviously, Bezos' statement regarding smartphones and user privacy are frightening. The idea that anyone could theoretically hack into our phones and listen in on us is quite alarming from a user point of view. But that being said, it is important to consider how likely this is to happen. And if the technology that exists is truly capable of such activity, the answer is complex but essentially boils down to no. While there is a possibility that a computer virus could be placed on your phone, the idea that it could activate listening abilities is pretty low. And while apps and internet cookies are capable of sending and sharing data, they are not necessarily listening to us throughout our daily lives. So what exactly are they doing? The answer to this question is complex as well, and depends a lot on what permissions we have granted to the apps we have on our phones. Whenever you download an app such as Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, or an alternative option, which is the private messaging app Signal or Telegram, it still has to go through the phone's base operating system. So for example, when downloading Facebook onto an iPhone, the Facebook app has been written by a software developer to run on that iOS interface. And, as a part of that interface, these applications are required to prompt users before gaining access to things such as microphones and cameras. Facebook cannot immediately access and start recording upon being downloaded. The app has to prompt the user before the device system will allow it to access the phone's features. Additionally, users can access information regarding the data that these apps collect and send. If they were listening and recording our conversations, we would see that audio files were being sent, and so far, there is no data evidence to support that they are. Aside from the large amounts of bandwidth and data services required to transmit files of that type and size, there are more practical disadvantages that discourage app developers from desiring that kind of listening access. For one, human language is inherently codified, 
Speech patterns vary so widely from person to person that it is nearly impossible for today's technology to decode spoken information in a way that would make it useful to advertisers. There is just too much to unpack and it would require too much time and energy. Add in the amount of power it would take to send these files and it really isn't worthwhile. Data threads such as cookies are a much easier way for third-party sources to collect information and send targeted advertisements to us. As for hackers implementing listening viruses onto our phones, this is also pretty unlikely. Though there has been a rise in hackers embedding viruses into websites via links, these viruses primarily target saved information such as credit card numbers, passwords, and the likes. The viruses have to be activated by a user clicking on the embedded link and operate similarly to how they would on a computer. Just as audio files obtained via phone microphones would be more trouble than they are worth for apps such as Facebook, this kind of data would be similarly useless to internet hackers searching for compromised information. Though Jeff Bezos makes some fair points regarding the importance of how evolving technology will likely impact consumer privacy, he is not entirely correct about how current technology is doing so. Our phones may have microphones, but the operating systems within those phones prevent third parties from utilizing certain data without our permission, and we are capable of changing those permissions at any point in time. Plus, the complexity of human language would make it immensely difficult for computers to listen in and make sense of what users are talking about on any given day. The amount of time and energy required to make that data output usable is much more trouble than it is worth and the data logs show no evidence that this information is being collected in the first place. Therefore, joining amongst the likes of Apple's co-founders Steve Wozniak and Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos also recommends you to be very careful with modern technologies. Because it is important to be informed about the capabilities of smartphone technology so that we can better defend ourselves against hackers who might use the internet to harvest and steal our personal information. By being cautious with our permissions and with surfing the internet in general, we can limit the amount of information being shared amongst third-party advertising groups. Though this might mean our targeted ads are less interesting, at least we will have our peace of mind and privacy. And finally, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. It's easy, it's free, and it will be a great support for the channel.